Zoho Sign is a digital signature solution used by businesses for electronically signing agreements, contracts and other documents. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can automate the signing process using Google Sheets and Document Studio and thus reduce the time and effort required to get documents signed. Here we have a list of employees that have been recently hired. This Google Sheet contains details like their name, email address, position and the offer date. We will use Document Studio to send an agreement to each of these employees so that they can digitally sign the agreement using Zoho Sign. This is the template for the employee agreement that I have created in Google Docs. These three fields for offer date, employee name and their postal address will be pre-filled dynamically using the employee data in Google Sheets. I'll remove these from the template for now as we'll be adding them in Zoho Sign in the next step. This is the area where the employee and the company HR will sign the agreement. We'll now export this document as a PDF. Now let's switch to Zoho Sign. I'll go to Templates and create a new template. Here I'll add the PDF document that I just saved. Now I will be adding two recipients who will be signing the agreement in the same order. It will be first signed by the employee and then by the company HR. I'll add some dummy text here as the name and email address of the employee but this data will not be used as the actual details will be pulled from the employee Google Sheet at the time of sending the agreement. For the company HR, I'll specify the actual details here itself as all the agreements will be sent to the same person. Let's continue. This opens up the document editor where we can add the signature and various text fields. First, let's add three text fields that will be pre-filled at the time of sending the agreement. This field is for the offer date, so I'll specify the data label accordingly. Similarly, I'll name the other two fields as employee's full name and employee's address. Now let's add the fields to be filled by the employee. Here I'll add a field for signature, sign date and a text field for the employee's full name. And now finally let's add the fields for the company HR's signature and sign date. Our template is now ready. Let's save it. Now for the next step, we'll launch Document Studio and set up a workflow to request signatures on this agreement from the employees. If you do not have the add-on installed already, you can install it by visiting this link, which is also available in the video description below. Go to Extensions and launch Document Studio. Create a new workflow and give this workflow a descriptive name. This is the sheet which contains the details of the new employees. Let's continue. Now here the workflow will process all rows in the Google Sheet by default. However, if you want to process only specific rows that match a certain criteria then please select Process Specific Rows option. For this workflow, the employee agreement should be sent to only full-time employees, so let's specify that condition. I'll select employment type from this drop-down, which is a list of all the column headers in the Google Sheet. This is a list of conditional operators. I'll choose exactly matches and type in full-time in the text field here. Document Studio is a versatile Google add-on which offers integrations of popular applications like WhatsApp, PayPal, Slack and the list keeps growing. 
In this tutorial, we are looking to request digital signatures. So let's choose signatures from this list of tasks. Choose Zoho Sign from this list of signature service providers. Now here we'll link our Zoho Sign account with Document Studio. We will be redirected to this page where we need to grant access to our Zoho Sign account. The account has now been successfully linked. Switching back to the Google Sheet, we are presented with a list of all signature templates that are available in our Zoho Sign account. I'll choose the relevant template from this list. Now here we will specify the pre-filled document fields. Here is a list of dynamic markers for all the column headers in the Google Sheet. The data for these fields will be pulled from the sheet. So I'll specify the appropriate marker for each of these fields. Let's move on to the recipients. The document will first be sent to the employee. The name and email address will be pulled from the sheet. So let's choose those markers here. I'll also add a message that will be privately sent to the employee. Moving on to the next recipient, we'll keep the HR's details as it is and add a message which will be sent to them. The signature request title here will be mentioned in the subject of the email. Here we can specify a message that will be common to both the recipients, that is the employee as well as the HR. Now let's continue. To recap, we have added a task to request digital signatures on an employee agreement from the new employees as well as the HR of the company via Zoho Sign. You can add multiple tasks to the same workflow depending upon your requirements. For instance, you may add a task to send an SMS or an email to the employee along with the signature request. Let's go to the next step. Now here, the workflow will run for all the rows in the sheet that match the specified condition. You can also check the option Run Workflow Every Hour to automatically process new rows added in the sheet. For the last step, you can either save the workflow here and run it manually later or you can save and run the workflow to process the rows and send the document for signatures right away. Let's choose save and run. The queued rows here are the rows that match the specified criteria which was full time employees. You can deselect one or more row numbers here if you do not want to be processed in this run. Skipped rows are the rows that do not match the conditions or the rows that are either hidden or empty. Let's run the workflow. The workflow has been processed and the employee agreement has been sent to all the full-time employees for their signatures. Let's close Document Studio now. As you can see, a new column has been added by Document Studio, which contains the links to the Zoho document sent out for signatures. You can click on these links to open them in your Zoho dashboard and check the status of the document. Now I'll switch to the inbox of one of the employees to check whether they have received the document for their electronic signature. Here is the email and it contains the request for signing the document. Now let's click on this button to sign it. Check this box to continue signing the document. As you can see here, the three fields for offer date, employee name and their postal address have automatically been pre-filled with the data that was in the Google Sheet. We'll add our signature here and fill in our name. The sign date field will get auto-filled according to the date and time on which the document is being signed. Now that the employee has signed the agreement, it will be sent to the company HR for their signature. 
So this was a quick tutorial on how to request electronic signatures in bulk by integrating Zoho Sign with Google Sheets. You can also check out this video tutorial to know more about how you can automate the employee onboarding process with Document Studio. And do visit our website digitalinspiration.com for more such useful add-ons for Google Forms and Google Sheets.